Hi guys, Michelle here, the traveling Epicurean. I'm gonna show you how to make pea soup today because I know most of us have a leftover holiday ham in our refrigerator. And we have a little extra time on our hands with this coronavirus pandemic. So this ham is gonna make a great base of flavor in this pea soup. We are gonna take these yellow split peas and we're gonna turn them into this gorgeous pea soup. And if you're asking why I'm using yellow and not green, well, you should check the aisle on the dried beans because they're looking like the teepee and the paper towel aisle during this pandemic. It's pretty scarce. All right, so let's get going and I'm gonna show you how I started this soup. So I have my yellow peas in a strainer. You can either put them in a strainer or you can rinse them under the faucet, but just make sure they don't go down the drain as you're rinsing them. I like to do in the bowl, because then I'm gonna check them over and make sure there's no discolored peas. You can use green peas or yellow peas. Uh, I switch it up all the time. They're both delicious, they're equally delicious. So look, I have all my veggies here. I have a cup of sweet onion, I have a cup of sweet carrots, a quarter cup of celery, of shallots, and I have three extra large garlic cloves that I put through the garlic press. I finally chopped all of these because I want them to dissolve in the soup when we put the peas in the stock and the ham in there. So I have a tablespoon of olive oil in there. I'm gonna put another tablespoon, and then I'm gonna put in a tablespoon of butter, and we're gonna add our veggies. And we're just gonna begin to saute them, and then we're gonna add in the ham and all the stock, and then it's gonna simmer. They've only been sauteing for about five minutes. You don't want the garlic to burn. You don't need to caramelize any of the vegetables. You just wanna give it a little bit of a head start. And look, I'm just gonna add in the whole ham, just like that. And then we're gonna add in eight cups. So that was one bag of peas, of dried peas, which was two cups. And then we're gonna add in eight cups of stock. All right, so we have all of our peas going in. It's gonna be so delicious. Put the ham in there, you see the vegetables. This is gonna be simmering for an hour and a half and everything's gonna really come together. It's gonna be smooth and creamy. We're not gonna add any flour. We're not adding any milk to this. It's just the stock, a little bit of water, this beautiful ham, and, um, and the peas. And I just wanna give you a little peek of what it looks like halfway through. See how it's thickening up? I turned over the ham bone, so it's completely submersed in the soup. It smells amazing in this kitchen. Hey, look, we are at the hour and a half mark. The soup is absolutely gorgeous. Isn't the yellow beautiful? I'm gonna add the ham. I took out the whole ham and I took off all the good meaty parts that I liked. I cut them up and I'm putting them back into the soup. Now this is what the soup looks like after simmering for almost two hours. This is a thickness that I like it. It's absolutely beautiful. It's thick and luscious. It's gonna be really, really good. I hope you guys are gonna love this pea soup recipe. Remember to freeze any leftovers that you have because it freezes really, really well. You can find the recipe at thetravelingapicurian.com and I'd like to give a big shout out to all the doctors and nurses and everybody in those professions that are helping to make our lives easier during this pandemic. You guys have a great day. We'll see you soon. Ciao.